at the beginning when I got here in August, I think it was August 12th, I didn't understand the vocabulary and the signs were different. So it was a struggle. My family really helped me to improve. And then when I got to school at ISD, all of the kids were signing. And you know, I liked their style. So I learned more. Food was different. Walking on the street was different. Hanging out in the community was different. I didn't understand what they meant sometimes. A sign like, what's up? So I learned that one. By the time I became his coordinator, he was into very independent in my classroom and doing very well. International students bring the ability without even trying to get students to ask questions and uh, learn. One of the things that's excited him so much is seeing deaf adult professionals here. At first, I didn't think my host parents would even be able to work. And then I saw that she works for DRS. She drives and she's able to do all of those things. My host dad as well. He works overnight. So it was a big surprise to me that they are deaf and it makes me very proud of them. They do become a part of your family. They're here, they depend on you, they, you know, they cry with you. They go home and they are fluent and they are amazing. And it's, it's been a cool to see. In America, I learned and now I want to teach people in Africa and Liberia. I will do that. If a hearing person is talking, the deaf person can't understand. So they need to know they have a right to an interpreter for them to know about their rights. I am deaf and you can't take advantage of me just because I was born deaf. They take that home with them and they also bring, I think, back to their schools, that knowledge of how American schools work and how it's okay to speak up and ask questions and be more independent. I want to help deaf people to have good development and to improve and to have future opportunities. I love you guys. I love you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>